Let's talk about villains for the Batman sequels. People have talked about this to death, but these are just my opinions. And just to be clear, I don't want to see that fucking clown as the main villain ever again. Or at least not for a while. Only concern with the series is that they're going for a more realistic and grounded take, and that may get in the way of characters that are more outlandish and supernatural showing up. We all love the Riddler, but let's be honest, he was just another fucking Discord admin, but this time, he just decided to go outside. So for characters that I want to see show up, number one, we got Mr. Freeze. This is the one everyone has been saying, but this is a character that I feel that could actually fit the more realistic tone and still be accurate to the comic book. He can also be sympathetic, but also villainous at the same time, and that just makes for a great character and villain overall. I have no clue who I want to play him, but you can go online and find a bunch of nerds fan casting. Another villain I want to see show up is Man Bat. The first movie was sort of like a murder mystery type movie, so why not have a creature monster horror movie? Just give him a menacing design to have Batman trying to cure him during the movie or some shit, I promise it'll be great. He would also just be a sick character to see in live action. And since we're talking about horror elements, why not add Scarecrow? And yeah, I know he was in the fucking Nolan movies, but let's be real, we can do him better than that. Make him the main villain. And make the movie a full-blown horror movie. And who's gonna play him? I mean, I don't know yet, but possibly Robert England. I mean, he did the voice in Injustice 2, and that was pretty good. I mean, he's old, but I mean, who the fuck cares? You belong in Arkham, Scarecrow. So I can break out again. And for number four, Two Face. Nah, I'm fucking around. It's Clayface. And I don't really know what to say besides he looks cool and he has a cool story. And most importantly, we haven't seen him in live action before. I liked him ever since I was a little kid, shitting myself and playing Lego Batman on my DS. And if not the main villain, he could always be a secondary villain to a bigger threat. I mean, I get he works as a side character. And number five, my favorite Batman villain, Bane. Give us the luchador mask. And a voice we could understand would be nice, because I don't really want to watch the movie with subtitles. Plus, he was already kind of hinted at with Batman using the, I guess, kind of Venom. Not really confirmed, but why is it in a green canister at the end of the movie? The man is a menace. He's one of the few characters who can actually match Batman physically and mentally, especially for villains. I know I said in my last video, not every side character needs a spin off, but Bane is actually a character that could use his own HBO Max series, movie, whatever, just adapt his comic origin story into live action about him growing up in a prison, and it'd be pretty sick. I know he's in a lot of stuff, but I've always felt like Bane is kind of a slept on villain. Just don't make him a big dumb brute like in the Arkham games. So those are my thoughts about who should be the villain in the next villains in the next movie. Comment what you think, and unless it's the fucking clown, then don't bother. That character is so fucking overdone at this point.